Hello, I'm Pirate Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to cheat at Shadowrun Returns for whatever reason you may want to. There's no judgment here. You know, maybe you want to jam through the game as fast as possible. Maybe you just like the story. Maybe you want to be a god in the Shadowrun Returns universe. I don't know. Who could blame you? I'm just going to show you how to do it. So to keep things simple, we're going to start from your Steam client. We're just going to load up the game. Go ahead and click play. Pay no attention to this. This is just my dual monitor. Uh, to cheat, we're going to want to access the Shadowrun Editor. If you downloaded Shadowrun Returns, you have the Shadowrun Editor. It's located in your content section of the main menu. Go ahead and click on Content. It's in the lower right-hand corner. Run Shadowrun Editor. Uh, let that load up. And once that's loaded up, you actually don't need Shadowrun open in the background. Maybe you like the music. You could leave it open for then, but you don't need it. Uh, when you first open it up, you're going to see this all as blank. Uh, obviously I've got mine already loaded so to load the content pack we're gonna wanna edit go to file open content pack just to keep things simple from your computer go to your C drive down to program files x86 scroll down to steam scroll down to steam apps select your common folder select your Shadowrun returns folder select Shadowrun data select streaming assets and content packs and here's gonna be all the content packs that you might download from the steam workshop or that might come out by default uh, deadman switch is the one that's packaged with every game and that's the one we're gonna edit go ahead and click on deadman switch and load up the C pack here uh, mine's already loaded up so I'm not gonna do that once you have it loaded up the only window that we're gonna be concerned with is in the upper left hand corner it's gonna be the story data window here's the conversations if you played the game at all the names of these might look familiar to you. The one we're going to be concerned with is three years ago Notebook. There's a notebook in the very first room at the very beginning of the game that you pick up to further the storyline and that's what we're going to edit. We're going to add our little karma and money cheats to that. If you have a game in progress and you want to add some karma and money to it, go ahead and explore this conversation list for something you might not have uh, triggered yet and just do the same edits that we do to the notebook. So go ahead and open up the notebook right now. Double click that. Uh, this is this is the conversation interface. You don't need to know much about it. Uh, just know that this is the dialogue that shows up when you select the notebook in game. It just tells you your notebook, calendar, context, that kind of thing. Right now it's just dialogue that it's telling you. Go ahead and highlight that. You can see the dialogue down here. Down here, click on the tab that says conditions and actions. And we're going to add some actions that will happen when you actually pick up this notebook. So go ahead and use the plus symbol, select that, you'll see no effect, highlight this, just hover over it, hit your right click, and this will bring up this menu. This menu is used for the scenario editing that people are legitimately creating some scenarios with with Steam Workshop, but we're going to use it to cheat. Um, the first thing we're going to do is Karma. It's located in the Actors menu, and it's Add Actor Karma. Go ahead and select that, and as you can see, add such and such karma to triggering actor. Go ahead and right click the number here and put in as much karma as you think you need. And that's that. When you pick up this notebook, you will now get 99 karma, 999 karma to the triggering actor. But you probably want money too, so we're just going to do the same exact thing. Go ahead and click the plus symbol. Right click, no effect. Uh, new yen, money is going to be underneath gameplay, and it's going to be add new yen and you can see and just right click the number like before and that's that after you've done that save this as you saw there was other options in there so maybe you fiddle around with this see what else you can do maybe it gets you an interest and you actually create a legitimate scenario for now we're just going to use it to cheat go ahead and save the conversation go ahead and overwrite it uh, I have to adjust this a little bit to actually exit out of this um, and once you've done that, the conversation is saved. Every time that scenario runs through that, it's going to pull that data that we saved. I tell you that because when you go to click out of the Shadowrun editor, it's going to ask you to save the scene, and you actually don't need to do that. That's just if you're creating a new scene. Go ahead and discard that and be confident that your cheats are in place. Uh, but this is the Internet, and I don't expect you to take me at face value, so I'm going to show you real quick that the cheats actually did work. Go ahead and boot up Shadowrun. Uh, maybe you still have it open because you really dig the music. I don't know. In whatever case, go back to the main menu. Select New Game. And we're going to go ahead and just run quick through the character editor. Uh, continue. And 
like I said, what we edited was a conversation at the first room, the first game. Uh, if you haven't played the game before, this is and you follow this step by step, you will easily be able to start the game with a bevy of karma and money to your heart's content. Right in the first room, here's the notebook. Go over there and click it, and immediately we're given the numbers that we input. You see, karma gained nine nine nine, and Nuyen received fifty thousand. And in case you don't believe me, there it is. Look at that. One of the look at that. Oh. Well, yeah, spend karma. There you go. You have it. It's all yours. It's all yours. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Pirate Dave. I hope you enjoy Shadowrun Returns. And thanks again.